hello guys welcome back to my channel today's a vlog okay today spend the day with me some few little twins here are they cooking especially okay yes i just thought i would take you guys along my day today let's get vlogging okay guys and give you a thumbs up if you enjoy watching and if you like content like this consider subscribing Fit of the day, okay. This cloth is very rumpled, but I don't want to iron it. Yeah, so I'm dressed, showered, freshen up. Now it's still morning, pretty early in the morning, still. I'm dressed now, so yes, let's continue our day, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be making um, a goosey soup and uh, beans. I've already boiled my beans already. I've boiled the beans, poured the water away, wash it again, pour it away. That's to stop bloating, okay? In case you cook your beans with the original water, the first water, it makes it can cause bloating. So I like to just wash that first water off, boil it again until it's really soft, yeah, before I cook it. So I have, um, because I'm cooking two soup, so I have, um, well, it's not soup, one is beans, the other one is egusi soup. I'm going to be using this bitter leaf, which I was washed. And then I got my turkey there. I got some white catfish here. I have I cooked some chucky, which is cartwright and cow skin in here. Okay. And then I have this fish that my husband brought from Nigeria. This fish so far is the cleanest fish no weevils no nothing clean so far this is the best fish my husband has brought from nigeria so far <laughs> i'm so happy with this fish i soak it i soak it in hot water pour it away so it has broken apart yeah because i wanted it to be broken apart okay see because i wanted it to be broken apart it's very clean fat no maggot no weevils nothing so clean so happy with it yeah so i just want to cut my peppers here i don't know everybody has different ways of cooking so this is my own way of cooking especially if i don't want to spend so much time in the kitchen i try to do everything at the same time i have a shopping hall where i show these peppers so I don't know if this video is going to go up before the shopping haul, but I have a video where I show these peppers and how much I bought the box. So I'm going to be using some peppers, some onion. I'm going to be blending some pepper and onion for the beans and the agusi soup, okay? I've washed them already. So I just want to put them inside the blender and blend them with some shop can tomato so just to put them in the blender that's all that's left and then we can start cooking particular pepper I like it some more than the round one I don't know I just like it some more this one is a little cheaper as well than the round one this ones and then the white ones I'm going to be grinding them blending them together with the tomato so guys I'm going to be using um, 
sunflower oil and some red my red palm oil here is almost gone i have a lot of red palm oil it's just i haven't um melt it yet so i can pour it in here so this one is nearly finished can you guys see that <laughs> so i'm just going to take out of it so i'm actually going to be like um combining the two of them together because it will take me time to actually try to melt it what i do is i put the gallon i have a huge gallon of red oil there and then i got a smaller one over there but what I do is, I have to sit it, I have to sit it in hot water for a while, so that it will melt. If not, I can pour it out of the, I won't be able to pour it out of the jerry can that it came in. So, I think maybe when I finish cooking, maybe I'll do that. I was going to do that earlier on, but I forgot to... I forgot to do it. So I've blended my peppers. I've blended my peppers and the white um the white onions or brown onions, which why would they call it? I've done that with the tomatoes, so I do it more because I don't want to blend twice. So normally when I'm cooking two type of meal i like to just especially if it involves pepper and tomato i don't like onions you always make me feel like ah like peppers my eyes a lot i like onion in food but cutting it ah. what i do is i have to run cold water and put my face there to stop the heat from the onion oh my god so that's what I do and when it's hot in my eyes I just run cold water and put my face close to the cold water and then it takes the heat of the onions away from my eyes a bit then I continue chopping my onion I like onion, just that pepper that it gives your eyes. It's what I don't like about it. Oh dear Lord me. Yeah. So this is for the beans and the egusi soup. crazy there are some onion that doesn't make your eye hot that doesn't hurt your eyes or some hurt your eyes really bad and this one happened to be one of them oh dear now my eyes are better I want to boil some egg I'm using my egg cooker here to boil some egg I normally boil the egg and leave them in the fridge so it's easy to just take one when you want boiled egg I like this egg cooker. It's very, it's very, very quick. Of course, you can use your your pot. You can use your pot to boil your egg. But I just like to use the egg cooker. It's faster and it cooks the egg really nice. It has three settings. If you don't want your egg to be too cooked, it's, you can put it like that. If you want your egg to be very cooked, 
you can set it like that as well okay so what i'm going to do now is what i normally do let's move this camera what i normally do is i like to put my egg oh i forgot i own my pot down gee <laughs> what i do is my egg is here so i put it inside water i got some water here so i'm just going to mix the agusi inside water i normally just put the agusi here i have more agusi i have the one that is not blended yet the one that is not grounded yet i have that one as well because what i notice is that when they when my husband bring it from nigeria because they don't clean it and they've already grind it it's like they will just grind it with the dirt They will just grind it with the dirt, so I told him not to bother grinding it. I told him that I'll grind it myself, I'll clean it, wash it, and then I grind it myself. So I'm just adding water to the uh, wussy. I don't know, do you do this as well? Do you normally add water to your wussy? before you use it to cook i like to add water to mine before i use it to cook anyway this is exactly how i was taught by my aunt so this is how that's my my father's sister my dad's my late dad's sister because i lived with her for quite a Thank <laughs> you. 
guys i'm cooking the soup i'm just going to add a bit of curry to the soup and this one is for the beans so i'm not adding curry to that one i'm going to have some chili pepper i'm going to be adding some chili pepper for the one for the beans as well but not too much because if it's too if beans is too pepper i can't eat it it's a problem i don't mind the soup to have pepper but not the beans Okay, so in my language, this particular soup I'm cooking, we call it a muigari. That's what we call it, a muigari. I know that some people, they don't put tomatoes in their own this thing, but The way I was taught, I put tomato. So that's my egusi melon. In case you're wondering, this is a kind of a melon seed. Okay, blended. I put water to make a paste. Okay, I normally just pour my direct into it. So this is what we call a muigari. If you are Urobo from Delta State, Nigeria, you might probably know what I'm saying. fish guys i cook my beans different today because i didn't want to use my pressure cooker to cook it i just wanted to just fry the stew and then add the beans direct to it normally after i've washed the beans after i've washed it cook it drain the water out wash it rinse it again i normally just had my tomato pepper and everything to eat so this is my cooked beans here but today I decided to fry the stew simply because I don't want to use this. This. I don't want to use the pressure cooker. I just want to transfer it. So that's my cooked beans. This is black eye beans. So you can see it's very soft. It's cooked. I just used the pressure cooker. I didn't put anything, no salt, nothing. So I'm just transferring it to the stew now. I know some people cook their own like this as well but me I prefer to cook mine the other way around I prefer to put everything inside here but today I decided to do this because I just I want to use my pressure cooker for something else so I have to take out the beans from the pressure cooker and transfer it into the stew So that's what I'm doing, that's what's happening right now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching and share it. Okay, and thanks for spending the day with me cooking. Show you guys the curry that I'm talking about in a minute. I pour it in this container so you won't see the name, but I'll show you guys. I have the one that I haven't opened yet. It smells so good. left for me is to taste these beans and see if he has enough salt and every other thing okay guys so we are going to be adding our meat and fish to the soup it's been cooking it's nearly cooked the beans is ready the beans is ready can you guys see 
ready, ready. Completely ready to be eaten. It tastes good, so I didn't add any other thing to it. It tastes just perfect the way it is. Ready to be eaten. I just leave it on a low heat there. So my wussy, I'm going to be adding all this protein. So this is the curry I was telling you guys about. Hope you guys can see the name. It smells so good. So that's my fish. I've washed it. Clean it. Taking some bones out. There are still some bones there, but I've taken quite a lot of bones out. Okay. So I'm going to be adding the rest of the protein to it. These are my chucky, cat rice, and um, cow skin. That's why it's in here. I cooked it earlier on. I'm just adding them to it. And then I'm going to be adding my bitter leaf as well. So I'm going to be adding the fish last because I don't want the fish to break. I have the white catfish which I'm using. I don't want it to break. So I'll add it last. I'm going to be adding some water. It's a bit too thick, so I'm going to make it a bit lighter. And then I'm going to add my fish. I got my cut fish here. It's just four of them. And then I'm going to give it a good stir. Yeah, guys. Give it a good stir. Cover it to cook for probably like between five to let's say ten minutes on a low heat. Low heat, okay? It's actually on a very low heat. It's on two on my cooker because I don't want it to get burnt at all. So I'm cooking it on a very low heat. You see, my soup is looking good.
Uh, food is ready, guys. Look at that. The soup is ready. It's ready. So we're eating now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching, share it. If you like content like this, consider subscribing for more. It's ready now. I've cooked it properly. Because one thing about a wussy, if you don't cook it very well, it can give you stomach upset. You have to cook it properly. So it doesn't give you stomach upset. And I'm happy the fish is not broken as such, so just a bit. Okay, that's my soup done. I'm ready to be eating. My beans is done as well. There it is. That's it. Everything ready to be eaten. 